Hey love folks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just, you know, thank you for being there as I be there for you. Uh, being able to send you confirmations and just to know that, you know, my videos can help along the way really truly makes me feel blessed and humble so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video and if you are comfortable enough please go ahead and drop me a line or two I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you just up tell me about your impact the gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards positive direction and if you feel like the video has been very informative to you as well as you know gave you some good vibes that you would love to share with a loved one or a friend who truly needs it at that time please go ahead and do so and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like it even share on the social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you so much for stopping by my channel and showing love and support and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today i'm listening to this uh like the other video uh video i was using it was like pure happiness i think like that was and that, that's what it was and it gave me so many chills and i'm like woo, okay i like that um i got me another one today it's called release all your in all your anxiety and tensions wash away negative energy pure clean energy zen meditation i will post that link in the description box below yeah, I love to be able to send y'all stuff like that. You know, anybody I'm like connected to on YouTube or Facebook Messenger, I try to send people, you know, um, like an hour of videos or, you know, 30 minute videos or something they can sleep to, which is like, you know, because I really feel like, you know, I, there are sometimes I don't even do it either just to meditate for like 10 or 15 minutes, even, you know, longest is 30. You know, it's good when you uh, can listen to them while you're sleeping even though I put mine on I still had these crazy dreams but anyway my video today is about twin flame 101 dark night of the soul can get crazy intense y'all mm. mm -hmm. there's so many some of y'all be texting me and I'll be feeling bad for y'all we're like Rosal I feel like I'm going crazy people be feeling like I'm too much and they be walking away from me and you know it, it just gets intense trust me I know what that means I know, I know that, and now I know what it means. I know what it means, but I know what it feels like. You know, it's just like, especially when I start going through my stuff. Like I was telling you, I was watching some of my past videos just to see how far I came. You know, I can really tell myself was, you know, even though I tried to be positive at times, there was a lot of dark stuff I was dealing with, you know, that, that really got intense. And it was like, I wasn't trying to push that off on nobody, but God, God empowers the be divine told me you have to tell your story you have to be able to be open and let people know and it's just like a lot of people that i've been able to get in contact with especially on one-on-one -on -one during their private time and which i love to do that a lot of you know my subscribers my love bugs always you know y'all like my family anyway i don't like calling y'all subscribers that's just like somebody saying oh i'm a such and such fan i don't like all that word because fa fans sound like you're crazy fanatic and i've actually seen some crazy fanatic folks but I always call y'all my brothers and sisters because I really feel like you're a part of my family. You know, I love the fact is that I can get on one-on-one -on -one with y'all. You know, I love, miss my, I keep on telling y'all I'm about to start my live up. I really am. But it's just like going through all these crazy tensions that I have is where my, my flow just goes up and down. There's sometimes I get really aggravated and there's times where I'm like really sappy and sad. Like my daughter can send me something and, um, I'm about to start putting her links on here. You know, she's an artist um, and she likes to do poems and stuff like that. And she's trying to start her book and um, put a link up. Yeah, I'll probably put it on this this one so I can be able to, you know, if y'all can just donate like a dollar to her, it will greatly be appreciated. Um, I'm going to start going ahead and sharing her link almost every day because she has until I think March 31st go ahead and have the money in she was just trying to get donations in so she can be able to start her book that she has coming out and it's very beautiful she's doing like uh poems she has done her own drawings which is very nice she has this one too i don't know if y'all can see that one she, she drew that pretty it's like a powerful woman she's naked my my daughter was like my other daughter she's like why did she send me a picture and then when she seen it was a 
a naked woman, she's like, no, nah, mom, I'm good. You know, she's only 19 and she's, I mean, 18 and she's like, mom, I don't need no naked woman in my room. I said, it's not the fact of her being naked. It's about her co coming into herself. I can see what it's, uh, it's about. But all my, do my daughter's like, mom, I don't care what it is. It just, it's a naked woman. I don't want to have all that in my room. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and post a link out. Of, you know, if y'all can check it out, even if it's a dollar or a two dollars, you know, if y'all can give that, it will greatly be appreciated. So, um, but anyways, yeah, uh, going through that dark night of the soul it can be really crazy, you know, and I feel so bad for people when they're going through that because it can really t put you in a dark place. And it's like lately I've been going through, especially any of the empaths that feels like they're being activated. The way you'll know you're getting activated, like right now, you might see me and I'm like, sound like I'm breathing really heavy, which I am. Like, I feel like one of those people that can't breathe because they got too much weight on them, you know, and I feel bad for folks like that because I'm just like, oh my God, I used to be a big, big girl at one time because I had gained so much weight being depressed. I was an emotional eater. You know, I gained some more weight just because the fact is I don't smoke or drink anymore. So, you know, I put down one daggone habit and picked up another one. So it was like, you know, going through those situations got really hard really 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 hard and um when you know you're get, getting ready to go through this stuff you know you've been going through them for a while and um it's like hot cold chills probably depression cry the drop of a hat having intense dreams migraines like crazy um i know i'll be having my fan on like i'm be going through some hot flashes i know i'm good and well and i'm not ready for menopause yet because i'm only 41 i'll be 42 in may um let me see what else you're very sensitive like even though we're already sensitive you're getting overly sensitive like i can see one of my friends that can sit up here and send me the most sweetest thing and i, I break down and cry like my daughter she shared something on facebook to me and just because me and my daughter you know me and my kids didn't have a good relationship you know we had one when i was you know back in the midwest where i was when they were first growing up but when we moved to georgia and uh got involved with my family and stuff and they're brainwashing them as they brainwashed me it's like me and my kids were like Psh. so it, it got really intense and we just finally started getting our relationship back and I'm so blessed to be able to have that because I didn't want my children having that kind of anger towards me as I did towards my family even though I don't really harbor that anger no more it's still some left there because I'm still healing from it because that's a lot to heal from um but it is just like I know how that felt for them not to be there when I needed them. So I don't ever want my children to ever feel like I would never be there for them. I might, you know, I'm be your mom. You know, I can be your friend, but I'm be your mother first. You know, so I always try to give them positive encouragement. Even if it's something they don't want to hear, I'm going to tell them anyway. But it's just like you're going through so many things. And with us being activated the way we are, we're going to go through a lot of hell. And you really think that dark night of the soul done got you is going to make you face every freaking fear that your butt has ever went in through. And even things you feel like you avoided. It's going to come right back and like, ha, hey, you need to face this. I don't care if you don't. You be like trying to, oh, okay, I'm going to look over here. Okay, well, we're going to bring it over here. Okay, well, I'm going to go over here. No, we're going to bring it right here too. You know, you might think about it. There are certain things that, you know, my dad had to come in. I was curled up like a baby crying. This was it yesterday day before yesterday morning got really intense because you know my dad's been chasing me down for years he you know he's a twin flame he was the chaser I was the runner I mean I've had dreams where I can see my dad getting off a stage and he would disappear and all of a sudden somebody was chasing me through a shadow and I, you know it was like a you know if anybody ever seen Nightmare on Elm Street the first one I was like Nancy my dad was like Freddy Krueger <laughs> you know and I'm just steady running seeing punk rockers and stuff like that because when I was little you know the people with the mohawks and stuff like that really scared me and I didn't know why but it was like there was my dad representing you know that was representing my dad so I was always running from stuff like that and just to know why I didn't never know why I was running even you know when my dad would call I would back up because that his his energy is so strong anybody who's ever been around my dad knows he has his energy you know, I even heard, you know, comedians always tell, especially guys, they said never look Prince in his eyes. You know, he got these eyes. That, <laughs> and I know what that is. He was like, it'll make you even, even though you might be the straight, homo, you know, uh, heterosexual man, he'll make you feel like you gay for a minute. <laughs> you know, <laughs> going to female mode. Ah! You know, and I was just like, you know, when I heard that, I had to bust out laughing. 
But when we're going through the dark night of the soul, y'all, you know, I'm, you know, I'm comical like that, but I'm gonna get back serious. But when we're going through some really crazy stuff, trust and believe whatever fear that you have had, either from your childhood, going through your adulthood, is making you face that. You're going through situations where it can get crazy intense and you're needing to face your fears. Anything that you, you know you're trying to get, that when they're needing to activate you, they're going to have you go through all these things. That's why I told you I see y'all, everybody going like this. And I'm just seeing lights just coming on. Like lightning strikes right after one, after one, after other. And it's like, it got really crazy. Because I, I was, anybody I can tell it to, I was telling it to. It was like a virus. Like, he say she's a gossip. Like, okay, you know, attention all impasse. You know, anybody's starting to go through these crazy things. And, you know, being very drained and stuff like that. Because it's like, you can have all this energy. And next, you know, you're drained. Like, you know, you've been going through stuff. It's just like when I do these videos, I put so much energy behind them. But then I'm, I'm so tired. But I'm blessed to be able to still do four or five or six. Just the other day, I did like 11, 10 to 11 videos back to back to back. And still doing them again today. So it's just like, it's a blessing to be able to do that. Because there's so many things I have to cover with y'all. So, so it's just like when you know you're going through this dark night of the soul. Yes, it's going to get crazy intense. So prepare yourself. Whatever your fears are, it's going to make you face it. It's going to be your little Freddy Krueger. It's going to be your worst nightmare, but it's going to be your best blessing at the same time. So it's just knowing whatever you've been trying to avoid for the last umpteen years that has been done to you is not going to be a pretty sight, you know, but you have to get through it. If you're that person that is being activated, trust and believe. If you are already trying to figure out what's been going on, I've been very bitchy lately, or I've been very aggravated, or I've been very, you know, uh, sensitive lately. I've been crying the drop of a hat, and you don't understand why your things that are coming up that you really, you know, pass vomit. That's why I call it, you know, when you burp and then some of that, that stuff come up and be like, Ugh. it's like that. You know, you're like, God, dog, I, I thought I forgot all about this. Why is it coming back? Because you don't put it back in your head to the point where instead of facing it, you're just like, oh, I'll deal with it later. I don't want to talk about that. You know, and you're avoiding it. So when you avoid it, it's going to come back. But then when it comes back, it's going to come back 10 times stronger. So don't avoid whatever is asking you to face. You know, whatever you've dealt with with your family or dealt with with your siblings or dealt with a significant, significant other, you're going to have to go through that. Heal from it let it go <laughs> you won't have to let it go because it's like whatever we're we're heading towards you can't have any of that bs attached to you because if not it ain't gonna end well so wherever they got us prepared for trust and believe they're gonna make you go through it but you're gonna have to heal from every little single thing that's ever hurt you in your past whatever has gave you a mental label you know there's people i know that's bipolar schizophrenic manic depressive uh any of those things you could have been a cutter you could have been anorexic bulimic you know these things bring on anxiety which is sad when i hear about different people going through so many different things because of stuff they went through as a child but no one is making you face it especially that's the reason why i put this music on so i hope it's not annoying anybody because i really need to put that on <laughs> talking about this situation because it's gonna bring up a lot of things you're like god dog really Rosalind? hey i'm warning you at least i'm warning you so at least, you know, there were so many people that were so grateful. And I told them, hey, this is the reason why you're going through this. And you feel like something is about to pop off. And it's not like a rapture or anything like that. I, don't, I really don't think that's what it is. But it's something very beautiful that we need it to come. It's very beautiful. And it's something that we're all going to be a part of. There are some people that are going to be major players. And there are some people that are just going to be around the people that are going to be major players. So when you're get going through that knowing it's for a reason. So like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. I'm giving my post notification shout out to Anne Marie Slee, Zoo Scott, and Lost Puppy. Much love to you. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. Like and subscribe. Thumbs up. Share. Drop me a line. And I'll see you next video. Peace. Be wild.